in this episode. So I have one good news and one bad news. Canon obviously has its own range of mirrorless cameras and DSLR cameras. So till date I was never suggesting mirrorless cameras to anyone because it did not have a 100mm macro lens. The mirrorless full frame cameras in Canon are called the RF mount cameras and very soon we'll be having in the market the RF 100mm macro lens. There are people who've always wanted to shift from DSLRs to mirrorless cameras. Not that I have been suggesting but a lot of people were saying that is mirrorless the future of uh, cameras. If you can get hold of the 100mm macro lens known as, go ahead and buy it blindly. Even if you don't have a DSLR, just go ahead and buy it because DSLRs will be available even in future. But this lens will not be available in future. So even if you get it as a second hand or a used lens, go ahead and buy it. And I'm sure it's going to be a great purchase for you. But if you are a Canon user and if you want to buy Canon's ring flash only, then you will want to by the 67 to 58 macro light adapter by Canon itself. First of all, this is an L series lens, means it's going to be a red ring lens. Um, so the diameter of this lens is going to be 67 mm. So it has got image stabilization, that's the best part. Um, even if you want to do um, no flash photography, like general macro photography or general portraits, this lens is actually great for you. So you can say that mirrorless cameras are great but yes economy wise it might pinch you a bit. It, they are very expensive at this point of time. You're listening to the Dental Photography School podcast where I'll be sharing practical tips on clinical and general photography. I'm Dr. Mayur Dauda and I've been coaching dentists and dermatologists on clinical photography since 2013. In this episode, I'm going to be speaking about a lot of ups and downs which have been happening in the world of the photographic equipment for dentists. So let's dive into the topic. So I have one good news and one bad news. So which one do you want me to start off with? Let me start off with the good news. The good news is that uh, uh, Canon obviously has its own range of mirrorless cameras and DSLR cameras. So Till date, I was never suggesting mirrorless cameras to anyone because it did not have a 100mm macro lens. So in dentistry, 100mm macro lens is the key for good documentation. Since Canon did not have it for so long, I was never suggesting anyone to go ahead and buy a mirrorless camera. But now things have changed and we have great news coming your way. Canon has just announced that it's going to introduce the RF mount lens. So the mirrorless full frame cameras in Canon are called the RF mount cameras. And very soon we'll be having in the market the RF 100mm macro lens. So why is this lens very important for us? It's because there are people who've always wanted to shift from DSLRs to mirrorless cameras. Not that I have been suggesting, but a lot of people were saying that is mirrorless the future of uh, cameras. So you can say that mirrorless cameras are great, but yes, economy wise, it might pinch you a bit. It They are very expensive at this point of time. But the reason why I asked people not to buy a mirrorless cameras was there was no 100 of a macro lens and now... Canon has changed that completely. If you ever wanted to buy a mirrorless camera, this is the right time to go for a mirrorless camera right now. That is because thanks to the 100mm macro lens RF mount by Canon. 
So let us see what are the different different specs of this lens. First of all, this is an L series lens, means it's going to be a red ring lens. Um, so the diameter of this lens is going to be 67 mm. So it has got image stabilization. That's the best part. Um, even if you want to do um, no flash photography, like general macro photography or general portraits, this lens is actually great for you. In fact, I actually think that this lens was got in for the wedding photographers because um, in, even in wedding photography, macro lens plays a vital role, be it for portraits or be it for the engagement rings or different different jewelries or getting a great bouquet. This lens is going to be very, very helpful for great outdoor portraits as well as wedding photographers. Coming back to Daniel photography, um, it's great to start off mirrorless cameras with this RF 100mm macro lens by Canon. It's got image stabilization and it's going to be a great purchase for your mirrorless camera if you want to do Daniel photography with a mirrorless camera. Um, whether or not it's going to be able or not will be able to mount it on a crop sensor mirrorless camera is slightly questionable at this point of time i need to check if there are adapters to mount the rf lens on m mount of the canon crop sensor mirrorless cameras i'm not really sure if you can do that but if you know of any adapter which allows you to mount the RF lenses on the M mount lenses, do let me know in the comments below. Uh, that's going to be great, great news for um, everyone out there. So um, this lens is going to be for mirrorless camera. So obviously the next question would be which mirrorless camera uh, would this lens fit on? So the answer to that is it's going to fit on the R mount lenses or the RF mount uh, lenses. So that's the full frame cameras by Canon only. Okay, so you can say that it's going to be mounted on the Canon EOS RP. It's going to be mounted on Canon EOS R6, R5 and these are the flagship cameras. So they're going to be a little bit on the expensive side because they are full frame cameras. Um, but I'm not really sure if you can mount this lens. That's the RF lens on Canon's mirrorless M mount, which is the crop sensor mirrorless cameras by Canon. No other company till date has a 100mm macro lens for their mirrorless cameras. So Canon was the first one and it's going to be marked in history like that. So kudos to Canon. Great news. Uh, but the only thing that I was a little disappointed was this lens is actually for wedding photographers and people who like to do general photography uh, without flash. Um, that's because the lens... Uh, is an is lens um, it's not actually a lens for flash photography users according to me because if it were then image stabilization was not actually required um, which would make it way more cheaper way more economic and it'll be lighter in weight and uh, it would also be more uh, compatible with the flash systems that are available with Canon. So yes, flash has its own ring flash as well as twin flash, but the diameter of those ring flash and twin flashes is 58 mm. However, I regret to inform that uh, this lens is not going to accept the ring flash or the twin flash by Canon. If you would still want to mount it, you have to purchase the macro light adapter separately. That will convert the 67 mm diameter to a 58 mm diameter and then you will be able to mount a ring flash or a twin flash on this particular lens. However, if you're using a third party ring flash, it might be that you already have an adapter for the 67mm and the third party ring flash or twin flash will mount without any extra adapter. As such, you need an adapter for mounting a ring flash on a twin flash. That's a third party flash on any camera. So you would not want the step down macro light adapter by Canon itself. But if you are a Canon user and if you want to buy Canon's ring flash only, then you would want to buy the 67 to 58 macro light adapter by Canon itself. So this was actually not the bad news. I'm coming to the bad news now and it's really bad news. The bad news is that the company Canon has stopped the production of 100mm macro lens non-IS. That's a huge blow for dentists because that was quite an economic lens for us. Um, it was a one-time buy 
and it was compatible with a ring flash or twin flash because the ring flash of the twin flash is 58 mm. And now the problem is uh, since the production of the non IS lens, that's the golden ring lens, has stopped completely, we have no other option but to go ahead and buy the L series lens, which has a 67 mm uh, diameter. So apart from the 100mm macro lens that you buy, you might want to probably buy a 67 to 58 macro light adapter and then put in your ring flash or twin flash if you have a ring flash or a twin flash by Canon themselves. So that's the bad news. Um, I would strongly suggest that if you can still hunt for the 100mm non uh, IS lens anywhere in the market, just go ahead and buy it blindly because it's a great great lens to use i've been using that lens since more than nine years now probably and it's working like awesome even today it's it's definitely my workhorse and the way to go lens for me and i strongly recommend it if you do not get a new one or try to get an old one or a used one a second hand lens would also work fine just check if there is any fungus inside the lens um otherwise it might be a little difficult for you so Go ahead, check the lens, take a couple of pictures, and then if you're comfortable, go ahead and buy the Canon 100mm non-IS lens. So the good news, once again to summarize, is Canon has just launched the 100mm macro lens with the RF mount. So you can use mirrorless cameras now for dental photography. That's great news for Canon users and for all the dentists across the world. Currently, the lens is not yet out in the market. Um, I think it should be out very, very soon. It might be a little expensive lens uh, for people who are just beginning with photography because it is an IS lens. Now coming to the bad news, the bad news is that Canon has stopped the production of 100mm macro lens non-IS lenses which was a very great economic lens for dentists to be used uh, for day-to-day -day documentation. The bad news is the Canon is not going to make those lenses any longer. So if you can get hold of the 100mm macro lens non as go ahead and buy it blindly. Even if you don't have a DSLR, just go ahead and buy it because DSLRs will be available even in future. But this lens will not be available in future. So even if you get it as a second hand or a used lens, go ahead and buy it. And I'm sure it's going to be a great purchase for you. That's all for this episode. If you've been liking or following my podcast on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify or any other podcast platform, please make sure to comment over there. I'll be looking forward to hear from you. Thank you so much. That's all we have time for in this episode. If you're getting benefited from my tips, do show your love by leaving a rating and a review. For tutorials on photography, do check out my channel, Dental Photography School on YouTube. To participate in contests and live events, join the Dental Photography School Facebook and Telegram group. You can follow me on Instagram as mayur underscore EOS Maestro or Dental Photography School. I'll meet you next week. Till then, keep listening, keep sharing.